everyone, this is Pierrick from P2 Design. I'm so happy to announce that my course Alive, the most extensive Blender animation course produced to date, is now released. You can find the link in the description below. In this video, I will walk you through the course content and hopefully answer any questions you may have. If you have any remaining questions related to the course, please post them in the comment section below and I will do my best to answer them. For those who don't know me, my name is pierre Picot and I'm a CG director in the game industry with a passion for rigging and animation. I have been publishing educational Blender content here on my YouTube YouTube channel since 2014 and also full courses including the successful art of effective rigging in Blender. Getting access to educational animation content is generally quite expensive and often difficult to know where to start. That's why I've designed this course to give you all the fundamentals of animation and teach you the tricks and techniques you need to create everything from a cute character shot to kick-ass action animations. We will cover all of this using Blender, the free and open source software, but you will be able to transfer all these techniques to any other software or animation medium. There is something in this course for everyone from complete animation beginners to more experienced animators. The course content has taken 24 months to be prepared with over 8 months of recording and editing to be able to include all the animation techniques I wanted to show you. In this release you will find 8 chapters, 153 professionally edited videos, over 28 hours of course content, complete with English subtitles. Also included are exclusive rigged models and character that I've designed especially to give you the best learning experience. The content is focused on teaching you how to animate from the fundamentals right through to advanced animation techniques and also how to master Blender's animation toolset. The course is designed so that each time you learn a new principle or technique of animation, you apply it in the next exercise, which will give you a better understanding of what we have just covered. Let's have a quick look through the course chapters. Chapter 1 is all about getting started and how to deal with the course documentation, files and videos. In chapter 2, you will start to learn the very basic of Blender animation tools and workflow. From understanding how objects are transformed in space, adding your first keyframe, to navigating and using the time Line. You will learn how to read the animation curves in the graph editor and all the tools to manipulate them including the dope sheet and the curve modifiers. In chapter 3, you will learn more about 3D space and how to animate a bouncing ball using an armature in step-by-step -step videos that you can easily follow along with. Once we are comfortable with animating a rigged object, We'll move on to create a full set of animations including a jump cycle, a climbing cycle and idle animation for our squirrel character, introducing more animation principles like overlapping, follow through and overshoot. I will also introduce you to animation and shot planning pre-production. We then proceed to cover how to combine our animation set in the NLA editor how to work with Blender's camera, and finally use an environment provided with the course to create your own short animation. In chapter 4, you will learn new animation workflows. Firstly, with the mech walk cycle and canon shot using the layered animation techniques and also introducing space switching techniques that I've discovered through Rick Lico's course and which he had the kindness to review. With these fundamentals, you'll be able to use the base motion of the mech to create the motion of the head, the arms, the weapons in a few clicks. You will get introduced to process of using constraints to improve and facilitate your animation workflow. We'll even animate shooting rockets, in short, everything you need to create an animation for this badass battle mech. In chapter 5, we move on to humanoid animation, starting with a run cycle. 
We'll go through detailed reference studies and I will guide you through the creation of a run cycle from the base blocking to the final polish. I will also try to enter the importance of different rotational modes in 3D and explain their use cases. Then we'll jump into chapter 6 to create a vanilla walk cycle so that you can learn more subtle animation. In chapter 7, we will push to the next level. You learn how to create convincing poses and how to exaggerate these to give them more visual appeal, to better communicate the will of our characters and breathe more life into them. I will teach you what to look for in a reference, a workflow to pose your character quickly and efficiently, and finally how to really push the poses. Finally, in chapter 8, we will use everything we've learned in the previous chapters to create our first combo animation. From editing our references, analyzing them, creating strong poses to the final polish. Now, some of you may be wondering, where is the character intro animation I did for the Riot Games Anim Challenge? Well, that will be included in the free updates I've planned. My goal is to add more content to the current course. And the next chapter to be released will be a full breakdown of this specific animation. I will add more content for every level, more bouncing ball, more body mechanics and more badass animations. The price of the course will increase as I publish more chapters. But once you have purchased the course, you will have access to any further update absolutely free. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank from the bottom of my heart Finn for his perpetual help and for his extra work on the rigs, Rick Lico for his support, kindness and for his amazing course, Daniel Zettel for all the animation reviews, advices and guidance that push my level and the level of quality of this course even further. I'm so excited to see the animation you are going to do through the course so grab a copy and let's learn animation in Blender together.